thing workshop is uh, equipped with uh, all types of cnc and vmc machines and uh, as well as the uh, conventional machines with us so let us we move to first our uh, production center labs uh, in this production center labs uh, we will have to see uh, cnc and vmc machines now just uh, you can see uh, here is the production centers computer numerical control machines now we will go to inside of this lab so here you can see uh, here is the cnc uh, machines and uh, next side there is a vmc machines so this is the cnc machines computer numerical control machines and uh, here is the actually drawing actually we have received from the uh, industry from the mrdc area now uh, we will see this drawing uh, this is the section view of the drawings along with uh, some dimensions and tolerance are there dimensional tolerance as well as the geometrical tolerance are there parallelity then the perpendicularity concentricity like this geometrical tolerance with us so along with the drawing uh, we have uh, received some materials from mrdc uh, industries this is, see this is the raw materials this is the raw materials in the cutting uh, forms we have got from the industry around uh, 1000 pieces with us so with help of that drawing and these jobs uh, we have prepared this programs by using g code and m codes so when uh, you will be in the our workshop how to make this programs uh, this knowledge you will get so same programs uh, uh, we have to feed in a, a computer which is the inherent part of the cnc machines so this is the computer part so with help of uh, it is coding system uh we can feed this program in this computers after this we will have to see the particular dimensions along with the x axis and z axis now in this machines only two axis are there x and z axis now just uh, by opening you will have to see uh, the inside part of this machines this is the check jaws are there and this is the work piece this is the work piece job jaw is there and this is the a check is there now this side turret uh, uh, turret which is mounted on this uh, head stock side uh, on the machine and uh, here's a number of tools are there around eight tools so we can mount on this turret normally we can put here uh, the facing a uh, turning boring tools are like this and with the help of this turret uh, we can uh, machine the our job this turret uh, we can uh, rotate see that it is in the rotating conditions means sequence wise tools uh, it will comes towards the jobs and turning operations facing operation boring operation will take place so after uh, machining this uh, you will have to see the job like this way uh, see that uh, this is actually machined jobs this is the machined jobs after this this is machine jobs and after this we will have to make a hole on these jobs as per the drawing provided on the our cnc machine now how uh, we can make uh, this hole so for this uh, uh, purpose uh, we required vmc machine vmc means vertical machining centers so here uh, uh, similar to cnc machines uh, we have the inherent part of this computers here is the fixture part is there inside this fixture so uh, we can put our jobs like this way so this jobs uh, we can mount on the various location around eight jobs we can put uh, here so this is the jobs like this way 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight jobs we can put here and once the programs uh, on computers will get over then this is the machine spindle now machine spindles we can move along with the uh, three axis this is the x axis then here is z axis is there and y axis there plus minus are there means uh, this totally 
all around the circulars normally it is called p circle diameter so within the circles uh, six holes we can drill with the help of this machine so this is the machines normally used for performing uh, operations on the vertical direction this is vertical direction and previously we have seen that cnc machines having two axis x and z axis horizontal axis are there here this is the vertical axis after uh, making this holes uh, we have to get it checks with the gauge now we have this gauging system with the help of this gauge uh, we can see that job is accurate uh, drilled or not so this is the job so if the job is fitting like this way then we will say that our drilled job that is okay okay so this means uh, our uh, attribute types of ins inspection is there yes or no here we don't require any uh, measuring instrument even though we have a uh, some measuring instrument like uh, digital vernier is there so we can uh, measure the diameters with help of digital vernier calipers directly readings you will get uh, this jaws for external this jaws for internal internal dimension we can check and uh, here so we can check the depth of uh, any slot okay so like this uh, uh, three dimensions we can check with the help of digital vernier caliper so normally in uh, mass production is there then we don't require each and every time to measure all these dimensions we required like this gauge means on skill worker can put the job inside this if the job is fitting here properly then we will say the okay each and every time uh, not necessary to uh, measure the dimension of the job now uh, for this job also uh, we have made certain jigs and pictures so let us see one uh, picture uh, jig is with us so this is the jig box jig it is called uh, here is the jobs so this is the job this is the job uh, before our drilling we can get it fit it is called locating system after that we can close the top parts and uh, get it tight and here uh, we can go for drilling here we can go for drilling so whatever operations we have performed on the vmc machine similar operation also we can perform on the normally drilling machine so these are the some jigs uh, which is made by our students to perform the certain operation on this job so this is about our cnc and vmc machine uh, so this all uh, two types of machines it has been used normally in all types of industry to manufacture the various part of the industry so what is uh, which type of the process it is going in the industry it is actually shown in this workshop that's why the name is given production shop so here's uh, you will get the knowledge about the drawing knowledge about the materials knowledge about the programming knowledge about the machines and knowledge about the how to control the quality of the products so whatever things happens in industry similar types of uh, operation similar types of uh, the units uh, we have uh, settled here so that uh, you will get the good knowledge about the uh, manufacturing okay so you will get uh, about the drawing also how we can read the drawing of which type of tolerance are there which type of uh, measuring instruments are there which type of operation is required how to make the programming all these thing uh, you will get uh, to this workshops when you will be in college uh, you will have to see once again about the production chair and same things uh, you will have to see in industry okay now let us we uh, move towards the actually our syllabus related to first years so here is the uh, some conventional machines with us as per your syllabus uh, we have a uh, lathe machines we have drilling machines we have the milling machines shaper machine etc so uh, first we'll see the uh, lathe machines now part of lathe machine and operation performs on the lathe machine now i am in front of uh, this uh, lathe machine this is called lathe machines 
now i will give the in short the various part of the lathe machine see that uh, this is the tail stock this is called tail stock just uh, opposite to this this is called head stock so this is the head of the machine this is the tail of the machine now uh, in this uh, this is a head stock uh, spindle is there here we can mount uh, any cutting tools just like a drill reamers or any threading tools also we can mount the movement of the spindles this is done by uh, this uh, hand levers so that we can move this forwards or backwards also okay and uh, this is actually imaginary axis through the head stock to the uh, tail stock okay now uh, this side head stock what it contains the machines uh, spindle is there so throughout spindle is there if you open this so this is the spindles so this is the hollow spindle is there on this spindle this side one end of the spindle this is the check okay maybe three jaw or four jaw so this is called jaw this is called jaw and between these three jaw uh, we can uh, hold our job okay and this uh, um, jaw we can uh, move forward or backward by using the key means this check we can uh, open by using the key key uh, like this key is there okay we can just put here and we can move this way uh, so that uh, your job holding has been done so see this now uh, i'm opening this this is the job actually operations uh, need to perform on this and again i will hold the jobs so this is the loading and unloading of the jobs okay okay so this jobs i hold between these three jaw in this check now if you go in this direction here is the pulleys are there so pulley having groove 1 2 3 and here is the four pulleys are there similarly in this side 1 2 3 4 pulleys are there on same shaft there is a big pulley is there and uh, this uh, big pulley it is connected to motor pulley here is the motor pulley through this uh, belt and at the back side motor is there this is the motors motor having this spindle spindle having this pulley and this pulley and this pulley connected by belt and this pulley it is mounted on this next pulley and this pulley it is connected to the spindle pulley by using the belt means uh, powers uh, you will get like this three one to like this and then this uh, uh, you are hello this uh, checks will get rotated once we'll start uh, how the operations will be there see that start hmm. hmm. ah. see that operation means uh, how the uh, the jobs will get rotated so this is actually motion of our spindle now if you want to change the speed just we can shift belt to this okay to this you will get reduce the speed okay so by changing speed uh, by uh, shifting this belt over the pulley we can change the speed of this job means uh, here you will get uh, uh, three types of speed 1 2 3 4 four speed you will get here okay so already you know that motor having 1440 rpm this rpms will get reduced here by putting one two three types of uh, pulley and the pulley having this groove four types of groove is there as per groove the uh, speed of this uh, uh, jaw uh, the speed of uh, this jobs will get uh, variables okay at the same times inside this uh, back gear mechanism is there here is the back gear is there and this back gear is connected to the next gear it is the inside the heads okay 
and this motions it will get to here and here is the lead screw here is the lead screw okay on this lead screw this one is carriage this is called carriage correct so by hand we can move this carriage uh, uh, forwards or backward like this way on this lead screw on this carriage cross slide is there means uh, this is the axis of the machine uh, we can give this movement like this cross movement is there and over this cross side this is the tool post and here is the tool okay here is the tools so we can give uh, this uh, motion to tool crosswise as well as longitudinal okay at the same time this tool post we can rotate like this way like this way as per our requirement if taper operation is required so as per our calculations we can calculate the angles and uh, once uh, you will get that angle here is some scale is there the required angles we can set here by tilting this uh, tool post this way or this way and we can give the feed with help of this okay so here is a cross movement longitudinal movement and at angles movement three movement you will get okay and uh, if you required the automatic movement of uh, this carriage just uh, we can get it lock this half nut once it will get lock and machine will start this automatically carriage will move in this direction if you disengage this part then the manually operations will start okay so let us we see some operation on this machines if uh, tool is moving parallel then it is called turning operation if its tool is leaving uh, perpendicular to the axis this is phasing operation and we can uh, manufacture a thread on the job so i have one jobs uh, like this thread also uh, we can manufacture this thread also we can manufacture on this so phasing operation threading operation this is the taper turning operation okay drilling operation so many operation uh, we can perform on this machine so let us uh, see uh, uh, at least two operation on this job okay first we'll see the facing operation tool will uh, get movement from the center of the jobs over the surface of the jobs and then this will move like this way this is the turning operation so here we will see the facing and turning operation for demonstration purpose okay so let us see so whatever the unwanted part is coming out this is called chips correct so this is called chips so this is unwanted part so we can uh, reuse the chips in foundry for making the cast iron product melting then the, as per the our jobs we can get it mold and we can make one more product so this is the facing operation cross movement of tool is there okay now after this we will see the turning operation this is facing operation now while turning see the operation the tool is moving parallel to the axis of the job this is the movement of tools parallel to the axis of machine so this is called turning operation so like this uh, we can make a growing operation knurling operation threading operations okay so many operations uh, we can make with help of this machine so like this machines uh, we have in our workshop around 30 machines with us see that all these machines it is normally used for our practical purpose so whenever uh, you will be in uh, our workshop at least uh, you have to complete your one jobs in our workshop and uh, at least four five operation on this machines so this is called a lathe machine 
next thing is there so while i'm making the thread on a, a job this back side tumbler gear mechanism is there and uh, we can change the certain gears as per the chart provided on this machine here is the chart to change the gears uh, we have a chart we can refer the chart and as per the thread dimension uh we can change the gears so what is the pitch of that uh, thread and uh, what is what type of threads are there according to this we can change this gears okay certain gear how to change these gears for this chart is there so we can refer the charts and we can change the gears and we can make the threading over the job so for threading purpose we can use this uh job okay next thing is there if you want to make a taper operations uh, we have to move this a uh, uh, tool post cross wise and we can make the taper so we have a uh, one jobs uh, see that the taper operation there taper operation means uh, here small diameters and bigger diameter so like this operations uh, uh, we can also performs on this machine this is called tapers internal taper also we can make on the machines internal taper so this operation in what way we can perform this uh, the axis of tools we can move like this way or this way okay so as per uh, the calculations we required certain calculations and uh, after calculation whatever angles you will get these angles you have to set here okay so after setting uh, you have to give this movement ha so the mujhe na net gear net gear de me pass kar pass kar de सर आवाज येत नाही सर प्लीज वेट प्लीज वेट आवाज सर बोलत नाहीत प्लीज वेट फॉर फ्यू मिनिट so in between uh, <clears throat> this uh, workshop practice uh, having uh, marks of uh, we have 50 marks for this workshop practice and uh, for our syllabus we have lathe machine drilling machine and the joining process so when we have completed when we complete this practicals so after that you have to write one report so when you can write one page report on lathe machine and uh, <clears throat> another is on the drilling machine or you have to combine this together and prepare one report you have to make pdf and you have to upload it on the link the links are not provided yet so you prepared you 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 prepare for that okay when you are learning this drilling lathe machine and the drilling machine you should take in your mind that you have to prepare the report okay so sir will continue now okay uh now you can see the operations on uh, this machine once again and then we'll go to the next machine okay facing and turning operation once again we'll see so the 
this is the facing operation this is the turning operations okay now uh, this operation uh, up till now we have done manually now how we can make the automatic operation okay so see that here is the half nut is there so by uh, tightening half nut Uh, we can uh, make the engage of this lead screw this carriage so that carriage will move automatically now you can see uh, operations automatically see that okay now this this movement is automatic see that here movement is automatic okay so uh, like this way uh, we can make the operation automatically without using the manual efforts okay so this is about the lathe machines once again so i will repeat lathe machine structure is very simple one side tail stock is there next side head stock is there and uh, uh, here uh, this is a lathe bed on this beds uh, v type of structure is there on this bed we have mounted at the carriage carriage uh, we can move longitudinal like this way maybe manually or automatic then cross movement is there this is the cross light on this cross light tool is there here is the tools and with help of this tools operations will get performed this side speed changing mechanism is there by changing the bed belt on the given pulley groove we can change the speed of this okay by engaging the different types of gears we can change the speed of this lead screw at the same time by using the back gear mechanism here is the back gears we can change the speed of this means here by belt also we can change the speed by changing the gear also we can change the speed of this machine okay so this is about the lathe machine now we'll go to the next machines that is the drilling machines so every uh, machines are uh, having a uh, one specification so here so i am in front of drilling machines so drilling machines uh, specification is here a uh, capacity of drill means 20 mm drills so we can mount on the spindle of the machines then uh, various type of distance it is given on this uh, uh, boards now you can see here back side of drilling machine motor is there this is the motors vertical spindles and pulleys are there over this pulley belts are there and this belt it is coming over this here is also pulley and here is the spindle on in this spindle we can mount our drill and we can make the holes okay so here a spindle is there pulleys are there and this pulley it is connected to next or motor pulley by using belt okay so
so here uh, we can make the hole like this not only on wood material but uh, we can make use of our steel material cast iron material by changing the drill so here drilling operation reaming or tapping operation also we can do with help of this so this machine name is uh, pillar types of drilling machines because uh, this side pillar is there on this pillar this side motor is there and this side spindle is there and both is connected by belt by using this cone pulley this is called cone pulley this is called cone pulley and by changing the various groove of this pulley we can get variable speed on this drilling machine so this is called pillar types of drilling machine uh, we have next a radial drilling machine so this is the radial drilling machine so in this radial drilling machine so this is the pillar so this uh, name is given radial drilling because the uh, spindle uh, movement we can make radially okay the spindles around the axis of this pillars okay so this is the one movement second movement uh, we can make this head up and down okay so here sir uh, by rotating this uh, we can take it up see that so this is the actually one screw this total head it will go up correct so this movement is there okay now next movement is there by rotating this we can move this forward and backward 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 so here forward backward movement up down movement and here is our spindle here is our spindle so this movement also controlled by our hands okay hand movement is there so this this is our spindles and drill is mounted with help so we can uh, make drilling on a job which is bigger size not able to handle so it is not able to move from one place to next place so just by rotating the head of radial drilling machines around the uh, axis of this pillar we can move this head of the machines for drilling purpose so this is the radial drilling machine why the name is given radial because uh, this head it can move around this okay radial direction movement is there that's why the name is given like this way now let us we come to this our one more machines already we have seen the lathe machine here is the head stock and head stock having wheel for movement of the spindle of the head stock but in this machine what we have done uh, we have fitted here hydraulic cylinders and here is the inlet outlet hole is there and here pipes uh, you will have to see the pipes so this pipe hydraulic uh, oils it will go inside the cylinder the piston of cylinder move forwards okay accordingly this uh, drill will move forwards okay so this forward and backward movement that is done by this lever okay like this way or we can move like this way so let us uh, we see the some operation performed by this machine but uh, our tail stock uh, it is replaced by hydraulic power pack unit you can see here so this is hydraulic tank is there motor is there and here a valve is there we can adjust the pressure is there here uh, one is outlet uh, hydraulic air inlet oil so it will go to the this unit by inlet it will like this piston will move forwards okay and during uh, next directions uh, the oil will go like this way so it will move backward forward and backward movement that is done by this hydraulic power pack unit now we can see the uh, operations performed by this hydraulic power pack unit okay start so this is the coolant and this is the drill and this is our job this side head stock is there all geared head head stock is there there is no pulley and this is our check this is our jaws here is our job coolant and drill is there here is actually tool mounted on the tool post okay so let us we see the operations with help of this manual effort is not required see the now lever is this side lever is this side that means 
oil is coming inside this cylinder and it is moving the this direction now drill is going this direction okay so we can see the operations it is visible no yes sir yes okay. so diameter of drill is 50 mm 50 so without manually effort we can drill the holes see that we are not even touch to this machine even the operation is performing So this is called atomization hydraulic power pack unit. Means with the help of hydraulic oil, we can make certain movement of our tailstock head. Now uh, we will um, take it back. See that back movement is there, and we are off that coolant. Okay, so like this uh, hole, you will have to see initial uh, job. It is like this way. This is the initial job. After drilling, uh, you can see the hole. So without uh, manually efforts, we can make the holes. So this is called hydraulic power power pack unit attachments on a lathe machine. So once uh, this hole will get drills then uh, we can perform the remaining operation on cnc machine then a uh, vmc machine so this is the uh, uh, manufacturing types in automation we required hydraulic units we required pneumatic unit we required cnc machine we required vmc machine we required drilling machines if you want to manufacture uh, any job just like a uh, gears or internal internal gear or external gear or maybe shaft bearing uh, we require such type of machine now we will see the certain product uh, uh, actually uh, we have displayed in our workshop all uh, product it has been manufactured by the various manufacturing process their material and manufacturing process here is uh, i have display on this display board so you can see here the aluminum piston is there and it is made from the aluminum and manufactured by the die casting types now you can see the carburetors uh, our engine carburetor is the aluminum product it is manufactured by die casting now you can see here bearing bearing uh, this is a uh, made from uh, en31 materials and this is manufactured by forging okay so certain angles are there uh, this uh, torque steel is there okay even our pulley is there toothpaste is there this is the gears manufactured by hobbing process is there means uh, on this uh, display boards uh, i have shown the various type of product normally used in our lives their material and their manufacturing process in the industry so these are the basic things actually we requires before going to multinationals or the limited or uh, private limited company the job names job materials and job manufacturing process different types of tolerances uh, in order to get uh, more accuracy starting from the our conventional lathe to our cnc and vmc machines okay so in our workshop uh, we have different types of lathe machines we have different types of milling grinding all these machines are there along with the uh, hydraulic power pack unit machines are there after this uh, we have purchased the computerized numerical control machines so uh, something uh, we have made uh, 
are different than other colleges which is useful to you once you can learn the um, the different types of operations uh, on the job to be performed similar types of operations uh, you will have to see in the industry for the manufacturing purpose so this is about uh, today's our workshop anybody having any problems uh, you can ask to me okay so you can uh, ask questions now if you have yes anyone having any question i think uh, nobody raising hand it means no one having yes anyone having any doubt question yes kisan sir okay no sir no sir your voice is not audible sir okay no problem sir ha ah, yes sir okay no sir okay you don't have any question again anyone else okay i think nobody having any question so thank you uh, if anybody having any problems see any time you can ask or at least you can visit to our workshop uh, when you will get permissions in college at least you can visit to our workshop because uh, we have made workshop similar to a uh, industry okay uh, we have shown um, certain the operations uh, which is actually happening in the industry and which is useful for manufacturing purpose at least one uh, one uh, times you can visit to our college when you will get the permission when you will attend the actually physical classes you can visit to workshop you will have to see the our cnc vmc power pack we need different types of the job and uh, we have also one research labs but today we have not gone to the research labs because uh, last sessions i have conducted in research lab so in our workshop research is there production is there demonstration is there and various types of machineries are there uh, oh, actually uh, as as per the our knowledge we have made our workshop similar to industry so here is the request to all of you if uh, uh, you will get chance to attend your physical classes at least you can visit to our workshop okay thank you once again to all of you thank you thank you sir thank you professor uh, gaikwad sir thank you sir who uh, introduce workshop very nicely who shown shows shown us moderate or advanced machines that is cnc machine and the vmc machine also he deeply explained the lathe machine as well as drilling machines so i uh, really thank you to uh, gaikwad sir our students will operate this operate uh, or uh, working work on that machine when they will uh, come offline uh, i also thanks to mr jadhav sir who supported our uh, to perform some operations who shown some operations on the lathe machine and the drilling machine i also thanks to donkar sir who uh, help us to create video of the session okay with this we will stop here and uh, one more thing that i have explained to you that uh, you have to prepare one report that you have to prepare one report have you understood what i am saying yes, yes sir ha tumhala marathi madhe sangto tumhala lath machine ani drilling machine yacha varti milun ek report banvaycha ahe ya session cha jacha madhe tumhala lath machine tyache diagram kiwa image kiwa tyacha nantar tyache parts ani tyacha nantar tyacha varti asnare don tin operation je sara ni tumhala sangitle ata okay te ani tyacha nantar drilling machine cha pan सेम आपला थेरोटिकली पण ड्रिलिंग मशीन आपली झालेली आहे व्हिडिओ आपण बघितलेले आहेत आणि अशी तुम्हाला एक पीडीएफ तयार करायची आहे एक दोन पेजेस लिहून आणि ती पीडीएफ तुम्हाला अपलोड करायची आहे कारण याला तुम्हाला जवळजवळ पन्नास मार्क आहेत म्हणजे एवढ्या एकट्यालाच पन्नास नाहीत अजून पण आपले प्रॅक्टिकल होणार आहेत त्याच्या तुम्हाला रिपोर्ट अपलोड करावे लागतील ओके अपलोड करण्यासाठी तुम्हाला लिंक प्रोव्हाइड केली जाईल 
ओके पण त्याच्या अगोदर तुम्ही याच्यावरती रिपोर्ट बनवून ठेवा ठीक आहे ओके सर ओके सर ओके सर ओके सो विथ दिस वी विल स्टॉप हिअर थँक यू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर युअर एज यू आर लिसन सायलेंटली सो थँक्यू ऑल ऑफ यू